Back here at home, one of Bozeman's largest annual Christmas displays did not stop this year. In fact, it even caught national acclaim. MTN's Cody Boyer tells us what makes Christmas Land so special and the group the father and son team helped this year. For at least two years now, Brody LaSword's Christmas Land has raised money for good causes, first with the Bozeman Fire Department and this year with the Bozeman Police Department. And once again, it did not disappoint. We had lines. Christmas Eve, there was limos coming by, there was buses. If you were looking at Bozeman from the night sky, Brody LaSword's Christmas Land once again lit up Shadow Glen Drive. It was awesome. We had over 26,000 people come through. Uh, we had a great time. There was a whole caravan of cars decorated that came through. More than 26,000 people with elves like Brody's son Micah handing out more than 19,000 candy canes. It was pretty exciting. The lights, they like they stay there but after you do for a while it just it's yeah they kind of go away last year's forty thousand dollar display grew featuring four areas with music even brody lost count of the amounts of decorations but behind rudolph and the lights is an ongoing mission we had an officer christy from the bozeman p who handed out over 400 gift bags to the kids on uh, Christmas Eve. While it's all free, a small container next to the hot cocoa station was taking donations for the second year in a row. Last year, the duo raised more than $3,000 for the Bozeman Fire Department. This year, the duo beat that record, $5,400 for the Bozeman PD. With such a devastation from the corona, people really needed to know um, that there was somewhere to go to, to Get that Christmas spirit. The display even got nationally recognized, so next year they'll be back at it. As you walk through the display again in 2021, Brody and Micah hope their display, donation or not, brings something special to Shadow Glen Drive. I'm, I'm no poet here, but, you know, I guess thankful and to really understand the true meaning of Christmas. In Bozeman, Cody Boyer, MTN News. Way to go there. And Brody says masks were worn throughout the display area to keep everyone safe. Next year, as Cody said, the Little Shouts are raising donations for the Bozeman Warming Center. And that will include canned goods.